Good day YouTube. Today in this video I'm going to do an unboxing on something I have been asked to have a look at and do a mini review of. So I'm going to do an unboxing today because this is actually quite a big thing to review. Now I will say from the beginning this is not Lego. It is a brick building alternative but but I thought about this long and hard and this is one that other people on the YouTube have reviewed and spoken highly of and I know that they did do quite a lot of quality control on this particular set that was sent to me so without further ado this is the Let Bri Let's Bricks company so they make lots and lots of mocks, trains, train accessories I've got to say I was going through their website and they've got some absolutely cracking models uh, and they've actually asked me to review a steam train which happens to be their version of something that lego released years ago that i don't have it's not the same train they haven't copied the design it is their own design or they buy designs from mock people check on their website they do actually have lego mockers who've sold their designs to it um and some of the big youtubers do sell to some of these better companies um bevin bricks being a very good example of that so without further ado i'm going to bust open this rather big rather heavy box and i can tell you this is heavy it has come from china um how much did this weigh does it say on the box mm, 1.43 kilos so there's quite a lot of bricks in here so let's have a look at what's in here Yeah, so as you can see the bag it came in is pretty big and on here is one of the models they sell and I believe that was a design they bought from someone in the Lego community so let's open this box carefully big old box so this is the LNER class A4 steam locomotive otherwise known as the Flying Scotsman this is a set that Lego did actually make called the Emerald Knight, but this is not the same model, this is not the same train. There is very little similar about this other than the fact that it's green and it's a train. Uh, this is the official colours of that train. So you can go through this and look for all the differences, like all the piping's different, this front bit's different, the way the wheels are done is different, it's got two tenders that's different, the way the stacks are done on it is different. It's nothing like the Lego one which intrigues me and it also comes with some rather good rod arms on the wheels as well which I'm very intrigued to see so yeah they've packed this one up for me I was told that this is a set that is actually good for display not sure how it's going to run on tracks they were actually doing some work to see if they could make it run on the tracks properly so this might end up being just a display set which is fine by me but it comes in two boxes so there's a lot of bricks here let's open these up and see what's inside as far as i know they don't actually sort the bricks into bags like lego so there's a big difference there um so i would make quality control quite challenging yeah so you can see everything is just loose in here in bags it even comes with a usb flash drive apparently which i'm guessing is the instructions <laughs> I don't know if that's standard that it comes with a flash drive, but anyway, yeah, look, tons of parts. There's the wheels. Those do look the same as the Lego wheels. So, yeah, it is Lego compatible. You can see the difference in the bricks there as well. Uh, immediately, there's no, obviously, Lego on them. The finish on them is slightly different. So it is different to Lego. I'm intrigued to see what the quality of this ends up being like. Um, as I said, I have watched some stuff by other YouTubers to see um you know uh, and they have spoken very highly of some of the other mocks they do some fantastic diesel trains uh, and i know a couple of those designs are bought by other uh, uh, uh bought from um mock designers in the lego community so let's have a look what's in this other box lots and lots and lots of parts so you'll notice there's no motorization in here as well so this is this is a display set unless you want to add your own motor to it. Luckily, I do have a power up motor and battery box spare at the moment. So, some very long tubing. Um, so, that will be used to see if I can get this moving. Um, as I said, they were trying when I asked to 
um, they were, were trying to uh, update the instructions to include how to motorize it so uh, they do do a more recent version of this as well which has a motorization 2 which is slightly bigger so yeah i am excited to have a look at this and put this together uh, this will be a project over the next couple of weeks for me because i do have quite a lot on at the moment but i wanted to share with you opening that up and just to show you sort of the difference between how lego packages up their stuff and how these companies package up there so again like the difference in price between this and a lego set is quite large obviously as you would expect there's a lot in this set and at the moment they sell this one on their set for on their website for 277 australian dollars so what's that about 180 us dollars so you saw there's quite a lot of bricks in there none of it's sorted so you've got to do that yourself when you're building it which obviously adds to the build time you don't have the convenience of lego but as i said they do if there's any bricks missing they will tell you it does make their quality control slightly harder but they are very good and responsive on replacing bricks and they did actually delay sending me this because they realized that it was missing some of the parts it needed so fingers crossed everything is here and i will be able to build it in one hit uh, i'd love to know if you've tried building with these guys if you've tried building these sets from let bricks i think they've got some fantastic mocks and I, I can honestly say go and have a look on their website there is a link down below in the footer uh, in the description for this video um, th they're very helpful very lovely uh, I've been speaking to them quite a lot recently uh, and I go through their website and they do have some fantastic ideas as well on there and they do buy from the community which is really really good and I, I do support companies that will do that Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments on this one. And if you're new here, hit subscribe. And please give this video a like if you're excited to see what this is going to look like when it's built.